Uh, so here comes Beast. So Beast is going to hit wealth here and set up here. And this is, and now, and CJ must see this and realize there's trouble, bro. He must know there's problems on their way. This is going to suck. Yes, he has to know that Kartax is the only choice. Yeah, he knows that. Uh, we got a Swordmaster from Red. Combat. If he goes Araki and puts the troops in, he's guaranteed to win the combat, he feels. But he could lose his spice must flow, and that's the problem. So he might be trading one victory point for another. Do you just go to Hagger Basin? No, he's gonna risk it. That wow. is no good. That is spice must flow gone. Well, he does get the Fremen bump at least. He gets the Fremen bump, so he'll feel not terrible, but he does lose the spice must flow point. He is one short of that, so I guess not a terrible second place here. Unlucky for CJ, maybe. I mean, <laughs> JJ Sloan has made this point clear, but he's happy to take chances in this game. He is more than happy to to roll some dice here. So Tessie's gonna have to wait for this victory point here. Kind of, kind of uh, unfortunate here. Still time to go. Still not on the conflict freeze yet. So. Think maybe. I think it was, considering the three card draw, the Signet was too high a possibility. I would have stuffed it in. So, red... So, blue wins the game. Props to Beast, though. He played a really good game. Blaze played very tight, very snug. Was the right winner here. There's like, some intrigues to be pulled here. Maybe someone finds something of use. The Shock Troopers definitely want to... They like, still got to take in game resources here. We will say hi to the players here. I think Tezzy just goes selective breeding and gets the extra intrigue. No, she's oh, she's all go secrets and go both intrigues. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and this is why we'd have gone Sonic Snoopers instead. But there we go. Plans within plans. Tezzy Avunis wins the game. Orski will get his spot into the wild cards. Well, what a game to finish off a, a, an incredible group. It has been chaotic. And Orski will be very glad they found plans at the death. It gets them the win and ensures that they're going to be good. What a find. Well, well, well. I mean, if there was any time to find plans within plans at the death, this was the time, right? <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. yeah. I mean. Oh, well, he was winning anyway, but yeah. No, no, you were good. With, you were going to be good without it. Yeah, there and there and back. It's it's the only move here. The only way he can win this is that he has to find another sword. God, don't do it. He don't has to it. find a sword. It's the only way he wins this combat. If he doesn't find it, I think they're gonna tie, which is crazy. He doesn't find it, but he finds okay, water okay. of life, which is probably good enough. If he uses the water of life now and he finds daggers, he should definitely buy artillery. Nation is taken. The greed. Don't buy it yet. The greed. Oh no. Detonation is taken. Uh, so putting his on the line here. He has to find a dagger, otherwise he will not. To do it now. He, he, has he must know he's in danger. It's gotta happen. So big draw this. Big draw. He finds half his deck. Does he find Gurney? He does Mine's find dirty. Gurney. That is probably game. Unless Baron can do something with 11 swords and Arakeen and who knows what. But it's going to be 30 strength. For, um... It's going to be 31 strength for Rombavernius here. Surely that's going to be good enough here. And to actually get the troops in that way. I didn't see that. That was a good, clever spot. Here comes the up. ambush, and uh, Baron's going to realize it's over. 
He is one short. Natwata wins this game. I don't even know where to begin with the post-game analysis of this one when we chat with the players. There is so many questions and so little time. Ten swords is not enough. 30 will have to do here. So that is going to be all for this one. So Namato gets two from the combat and detonation gets him 10. I think the extra intrigue is good. I think we can probably hit in Carfag, pull two intrigues, get some troops in and kind of reevaluate from that, I think. Yeah, you could you could win this combat and go with Kartag. He is out of actions. Yuna's not got any um, real troops in, so you can take this down if you want. Um, I think it's worth the extra intrigue for the one for the extra persuasion, given the board. And that's exactly what we do see. So two intrigues for Lane is pretty nice. Grand Conspiracy first up here. Very cool. Um, not the easiest to use, though, in the world. And we'll Definitely. also find... Ooh, that's a big one. Hello. One of the better intrigues in the game. Just a straight extra action there. So, World Rider is being played for just taking the extra spies here. I guess instead of shipping, you might as well. Ah, oh, she can't get hold of flagship. She's short. She's gonna go. Sm she's gonna go there instead, just trying to get hold of more money. I mean, I don't think it really matters. This will secure her Bene Gesserit alliance. Also gets her grand prison point. She finds cool on the market. She has a spice must flow. If she finds if she a second, which she's going to be able to do, she's going to get a point somewhere. So that's a pretty that's big fight. That's huge. Core the market gets her back in the game here. If if um, Yuna doesn't find a spice must flow at the end of this round, Helena's getting two victory points out of that and a third one at a grand conspiracy. That is a ridiculous find. That's about the only good thing here. She has enough spice for Highliner as well. So that is still ready to go here. Yuna does indeed... Uh, Helena takes it. Helena wins this game, by the way. Ridiculous. As, She's going to find two more. Unless someone could go secrets and steal one of those. Seam Must Awaken is not playable. Private Army is not playable. I think I would be trashing Sonic Snoopers and trying to find something and protect these two in games. It's exactly what she does here. Yep, she has to. She's desperate to not let these get stolen because secrets is sitting there. And the players now realize she's cycling only those two and realizes there's trouble here. She's that they they think she's got a ton of endgames. It's gonna be apparent. If she doesn't draw or anything to find, she finds I Oh no, she can't! Plans plans are plans to staged! Oh my god! She can't spend anything! She's not plans to plans! Oh my god! Nine victory points. And players are gonna see it and realize what wow. has happened. And there was how did no one go to secrets here? Absolute craziness. Um, <laughs> my God. Here's a power play to wealth. No. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have power play to see uh, selective breeding. For Hundro, it's gonna put them up to even with Helena, which is a big deal. Big deal. Let's see what we find with this. Find a Bindu suspension and a Gunthopter. Those are good cards. Those are good cards. Pretty close here. Spice must flow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gets it. Where did he get that? He must have got that last round. I must have missed it. Here is a signet ring. Two. It's Imperial Basin. Here we go down. We're gonna get spice. We're gonna get some troops. We're gonna go get this alliance. Are we gonna win the game? We are gonna win the game. <laughs> oh my god. And 
the full on Helicopter Joe snipe at the end. Wow. That is going to do it. Lannister's gonna take this down and I think that puts him number one in group, group B. Uh, having won two out of his three games, I think. Not much going on there, but this is gonna put it up to 10. He's gonna win on tiebreakers. It's gonna be a tiebreaker. And that is going to be the end of the game.